I want to take it in no and this time talk politics and technology, indeed politics and the internet. And to bring us that perspective right here in studio, the chairman of the Bloggers Association of Kenya, Bake. That, of course, is Kennedy Kachwanya. Karibu, sir. Thank you. Not Bye -bye. your first time here. And indeed, keeping us updated on what exactly has been happening in that sector. The first thing when we say technology, the internet, uh, for most Kenyans, they'll tell you 36 bloggers, <laughs> uh, famous <laughs> chaps, and the difference uh, they have been making in a political arena. Uh, the question on everyone's mind is just what has been the role of people like this in the politics of the day, in your opinion? Um, first, you have to realize that uh, over 30, 30 million Kenyans are online. Yes. So when you talk about 36, yes. <laughs> that is too little. Yes. Um, um, but obviously content creation, the people who do content sometimes mm -hmm. are less. Yes. So they are the loudest mostly. Mm -hmm. So probably that's why people will talk more about Then I them. guess the question we should be asking is what exactly is the role that technology is playing in these elections, in your opinion? Well, it's going to play a lot. I mean, you have seen um, how information can be passed around as fast, as quickly as it's never been before. Yes. And that means um, the electorates are more informed. Mm -hmm. And I feel even the nomination, the complaints you get, you see from the nomination, it's based that electorates are more informed mm -hmm. and the parties are also being forced to mm -hmm. take some action mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, um, maybe put the houses in order. Yes. Um, and I have seen politicians now calling for the primary to be assessed. I think Kreto Morungi was talking about that yesterday, mm -hmm. um, that we need to look at how we do the, uh, the primaries mm -hmm. and, you know, because in some areas, uh, the primary is actually the election in itself. Yes. So it should be done well at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let, let's talk uh, literally technology and the way it has changed the way we do things. Uh, simply put, uh, Kenyans in the past would have waited hours to see the election uh, nominations, results, complaints, uh, interactions, altercations, all those things. Yeah. Now we have social media. Events are literally happening in real, real time, time on your phone, uh, mobile, PC, all those things. Especially for things like WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, and that sort of thing, where information that is picked up in one place yeah. will end up miles or 10,000 miles or kilometers away at the touch of a button and can be shared across multitudes of people in a way that's very different from what used to happen with people having to wait to watch TV or listen to radio for the news. How do you think this is influencing the politics of the day? Well, it's, it's giving a chance to probably more unknown candidates to be uh -huh. known, uh, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, it's also giving a chance for people to see what's happening in both, um, in each corner of this country. Uh -huh. So you wouldn't say somewhere, because you know, a long time ago it was uh, some areas uh, completely off the grid. Yes. And now that's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, and when, when, when a politician go to any corner of the country, uh, in real time, uh, people will know what is going on. Mm -hmm. If there is an issue somewhere, in real time, people will know it. Mm -hmm. And also it's help uh, because if there is a hot spot, yes. um, it helps people to understand where to avoid or if you want to join, where to join. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it's bigger. I mean, sometimes we, we don't see how the internet has changed, especially in the communication landscape. Yes. But it's huge and it has affected all ways with this. Could uh, that be the reason we've seen so many of the incumbents in some places getting thrown out because yes. literally people now have more information? Remember, what one of the issues that we have had with the bloggers being arrested mostly yes. um, because they were trying to highlight mm -hmm. uh, uh, the work of the governors, the work of some of these uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. And with that, electorates mm -hmm. become more aware of what's going on. Yes. And you can't just uh, appear on the election day and say, you know what, I've done this, I've done this. With the time, people have already documented all this happening. Mm -hmm. um, and that means even if you come in and try to blind uh, people with uh, one or two. So money might not, going forward, money might not play mm -hmm. a big role mm -hmm. as it used to be, yes. if you consider some of the results we have seen so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so for and I credit technology for that. Okay. So for a lot of people who might not have seen this coming, they literally have gotten left behind by the train. The train has pulled out of the station. You're still operating in the old way, and you have been overtaken by events. So the flip side of that is 
you can then start to acquire this information, know how this landscape works, know how this can work to your advantage, know how to deploy these resources. And these are among the things that you're going to highlight at your conference. Yes, um, yes. the awards. Um, we have the awards on 13th of May. Yes. Um, um, and Yes, I mean, I, I feel that people need to learn from what has happened. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people need to learn, people need to reorganize themselves. And uh, see how it actually yeah, affects their see, lives. Yeah, see how it affects their life. Mm -hmm. And maybe better, when the next election comes in, probably just go back to the drawing board, understand what happened, and then, you know, uh, next time you, you put in um, a better organized use of technology and use of your campaign. Mm -hmm. um, but or, or now, uh, for our event, obviously, this is a big year for bloggers. Yes. And, you know, uh, the election, as far as I, many can tell, uh, many experts see it's going to be close. Yes. And, you know, when it's close, um, sometimes what happened in 20, uh, 2007 sh mm -hmm. should be on our minds. Yes. So hopefully that uh, things go well. We have credible election, uh, yes. free and fair. And then at the end, whoever loses or whoever will take the win and whoever loses accept and we move on because yes. this country needs us to move on and build it. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, the question on most people's minds at that juncture mm -hmm. is the main issue of fake news <laughs> and the fact that this can influence elections in one way or another. We have seen, I'll give you a simple example. Yeah. Um, today we woke up to some tweets, uh, which uh, are a bit inflammatory, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it just a bit. Yeah. And it said a certain candidate uh, literally wants to throw out the incumbent government. Yes. So he has convinced traders to hike the price of goods and services <laughs> to try and make that government look bad. I mean, you're laughing. It's literally uh, stupid and ludicrous. Yes. But if you look at that post, yeah. there are tens of hundreds of people who it's actually believe that to be the case and are retweeting that, yeah. making it go viral. Yeah. So that is false. Yeah, so... First of all, fake news or what we would call, you know, propaganda yes. in, in many ways has been around for years. The yes. only difference now is the technology. It yes. has changed. So yes. any good thing, there is always the, the black spot about uh, every good thing. Yes. Um, so that's where the fake news come in. And the issue here is now people need to really look at the sources. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why the media houses still have credibility um, yes. because they come in to, like, uh, confirm, uh -huh. verify the, 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 the issues yes. and information. What I say is, if you have some of this formation being discussed properly, mm -hmm. then people wouldn't buy into that. Yes. Because I think people would buy into that kind of tweet because probably people don't even understand mm -hmm. um, how business works. Yes. Or even if you do business, you do it in a, a, in a more localized way way mm -hmm. such that you don't understand how the factors are affecting business work. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're just going to online and say, oh, milk price has gone up here. Mm -hmm. I, I saw one where somebody was in indicating that Twitter or Facebook people indicating that uh, food prices are gone up, so the traders start yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, hiking the prices. It doesn't work like that, obviously. Um, these things are controlled by supply and demand. So yes. I, I don't think it's more cheap, but you, you see As what technology can do. As we start to wind up, yeah. uh, the issue of uh, responsibility and power. As bloggers, as people in social media, as influencers, uh, today people like you are influencing a lot of power, yeah. a lot of influence. So how do we start to ensure you are a responsible person yourself, but that can't be said across the board. So how do we start to ensure that these people are exercising this power? in ways that are prudent mm. and ways that are responsible. I guess that's the reason why we, we, we started the, the association, because one of the things that we wanted to do was to ensure that um, we train people, Yes. We ensure that um, the right content are done. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at it closely, sometimes obviously this small uh, black spot within the sector will always be there. Mm -hmm. um, that is to do with tabloids. It has been with the media all along. Yeah. But when you have credible uh, part of the, the stream, then it, it helps. Mm -hmm. So that's why our, our, our point is, can we train people? Can we recognize the best bloggers? Can we ensure that people get this content? Because we have very many good content creators out there mm -hmm. that probably sometimes are not appreciated. There. Uh, uh, they should be. And they have large following. And they have large following. Mm -hmm. But obviously, uh, the drama 
um, you sometimes sell more than when somebody is done uh, credible, mm -hmm. you know, or mm -hmm. news serious stuff. Thing. Yeah, serious stuff. But the drama sometimes, you know, make you know like people happy w once in a while. So such people would get more following. But at the end, the quality and the quantity of people doing good content overwhelm that. Mm -hmm. And going forward, I, I don't think we should worry much as long as we build the good content creators. Yes. And I just want to add something on our on our on our event. Yes. Uh, so the voting process is going on, yes. and uh, I hope people would go to Beck, uh, yes. vote dot Beck dot co dot ke, yes. and vote for their favorite blogs, mm -hmm. so that we have the best content creators win, mm -hmm. and we recognize them at the end of the, uh, I mean, on 13th of May this uh, this yes. month. Yeah. Uh, before you go, just one final question, and one which a lot of marketers and other people ask: yeah. Is social media? Uh, blogs, uh, Twitter, and that sort of thing. Are your metrics really representative of the rest of society? If something is trending on Twitter or has been read 10,000 times, uh, does that mean that literally the rest of society is seeing it as much as those people who have access and are connected in the cities? Is it the same out there? Um, you can look at it too, in two ways, yes. um, because I think the ripple effect, when, when you start something from the city, mm -hmm. um, it moved to Mombasa, Kisumu, yes. and the major towns. Mm -hmm. With the time, it, it end up to the basic, uh, the more remote areas. Yes. Um, it might take time because some mm -hmm. of those places, people are still not as, as connected as yes, people in, in towns. Yes. Yeah, but at the end, it's, it's a conversation like a wave. Mm -hmm. You start from one point, but at the end, it's going on the other side of the sea. Okay. So I, I, that's how I look at it. But obviously, sometimes we over, we, we, we take ourselves too high than yes. <laughs> what we are. Uh -huh. But that does not mean you take social media lightly. lightly. Yes. And, and you have also seen how it's affecting the media houses. Yes. And, and the journalists literally now, you know, most of the uh, content being done by journalists are from the social media. Yes. So even if the social media is not able to reach the far end, yes. still the media will amplify that. Okay. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your time. Kennedy Kachwang, thank uh, you. chairman of BIC. And you said the date, the big day is the 13th, 13th of, of May. May. So do get out there, do get voting indeed, so that the best content creators continue to carry the day as ever. And of course, to say that if you have content that needs to go out there, talk to the bloggers, talk to the people on social media. They should be able to push your message out there in quite a big way.